Welcome aboard, sports fans. We're back. Another wonderful casted match from the Prototype Toronto League. We are casting live this evening on a Wednesday evening from downtown Toronto, coming to you live from 401 Games at the heart of Young and Wellesley in the beautiful city of Toronto. We are your hosts. I'm Timbo Slice. I'm Devin. And tonight we have the last of the four top eight matches for season eight of the Toronto League, uh, which means that we have come to the conclusion of our seven weeks. Absolutely. It's been a hell of a hell of a seven weeks. We got the new uh, new bounty system out this, this season. Oh, that bounty system was amazing, Dev. I got to tell you, we had some absolute just top quality scraping the bottom of the jank tank fun lists come out today. We really put the P in prototype this year. You got you got to fly a Punisher, you got to fly a Kirax, you got to do some random squads, you got to fly a non corn or an E-Wing. It was, uh, it was pretty epic. It was a good season. A lot of people did them. Now before we get into uh, our, our competitors tonight, two absolute top quality gentlemen, uh, why don't we start from scratch with anybody who might be tuning in for the first time and run through the Prototype Toronto League, our, uh, our setup, our, our way of doing things here in the city, and then uh, we can talk about some of the things we did differently in seven, season 8. So we play across the city. We play usually at uh, Dueling Rounds, which is now Sword and Board, 401 games and face-to-face uh, -face games uh, in East York. And you have to play seven games in seven weeks, not too hard. And you can't repeat a, uh, a unique pilot or you cannot repeat the same number of generics in a list. Now just, just, just stop you there for one second. Now when you say that you can't repeat a named pilot, Sabine runs in like six different ships, so... Alright, so you can run each version of Sabine once. All six of her. Right? <laughs> Even the scum one. Yeah, what about Poe? Poe's in like two different things. Yeah, you can, steel you can and run both Poe's, you can run both Merrick's. I mean, if you want to hobble yourself and run both Merrick's, good for you. What are uh, what are some of the other types of restrictions in terms of uh, just keeping it fair, Dev? Can you run through some of the other ones? Uh, generally, you want to speak to your opponent before you play the game. Uh, a lot of us like doing random matches. Uh, this season, you got a bonus league point for competing in a random match, and uh, you can only do three games in a week, so you can't pound them out all at once. You got to stretch it out. And, uh, and you can't repeat the same uh, number of generics. Yes, I did Which say is going to take it very, uh, it's going to be so, very relevant in this match that we have up here tonight. Right, so Christian is the originator of Rush Hour, and we're seeing Rush Hour here. Uh, and, and Joe is a lifelong rebel player. Lifelong. Lifelong rebel Like three player. lifetimes. Okay, so he has not missed a cut at originals he's been to. No, it's true. He's like our, uh, he's... He's one of those guys who, uh, he's often Cinderella. Yeah. Like, he'll make the cut, and then he's got to get home before midnight before he turns into a pumpkin. And, and he always makes it with, like, some Blair Bunky level, like, rebel. Oh, just janky just, just, nonsense. Just like a mini swarm of, like, what the, what the heck, Joe? I remember when uh, the Jumpmasters first came out, and they were still pre-nerfed, so they could take Deadeye, they could have R4 before the net. All the nastiest uh, scum jank. Joe was just like... Uh, I don't care. I'm going to take a T two C65 X-Wings and a VCX100, fly at you like a javelin, and stab you in the throat. <laughs> I'll make the cut. Yep. No worries. Yeah, don't worry. D Dangaroo, it's fine. No worries. So, and Christian, I helped Christian um, finalize this list, sort of figure it out. Uh, it's got a bit of, it's 80% Christian, I'd say 20% Devin. You know, follow the 80-20 rule. The two most diabolical Imperial pilots in the city collaborating to create the most uh, I, I don't infuriating... Know. Imperial jank you're giving it. Before I get into Joe's list, Devin, you and Christian have your, your your little brainchild here. Please run us all through this fabulous and insanely expensive uh, X-Wing list. This is, yes, this is if you, Christian's running this because he's got five ta altar tacticians. Right. This is, this is what, so where this came he, from. He was at five uh, GNKs throughout yeah, the five, Yeah, exactly, exactly. So this list, if you have no yeah. alt arts, is a six hundred dollar list without corsets. I'm sorry, six hundred Canadian dollars. Six hundred Canadian dollars. Yeah, yeah. not six hundred pesos. Not six hundred pesos. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Because you you need uh, lambdas and phantoms for the tacticians. You need at least well, not three of the uh, of the imperial veterans. You need uh, well, not, you need five scimitar packs. Yeah, you need to buy five bombers because the yeah. scimitar squadron pilot does not come in the imperial veterans. And an upsilon. It yeah, is upsilon, yeah. it is insane. 
So what uh, you, and Chris and I just happened to have all this stuff. I had to buy an extra bomber in the end, but it's just like, oh yeah, I guess. Whoops, I have that. <laughs> Why don't you run through uh, Christian's list for us and tell sure. us about each of the bombers, their pilots, sorry, their crew. Uh, even though they're bombers, they're not quite bombers, so, and, and let us know how the list works. Starting with, with uh, Scimitar 1, we've got Darth Vader, right? So Darth Vader is there to keep Aces honest. It's there to keep Poe honest, instead of keep Miranda honest, and 100% is there to keep Fan honest. He cannot be in that arc. Right? You are ex exercising a control with this list that is phenomenal, right? So you have an arc as wide as five TIE bombers, because you'll see Christian spread out at some point. Well, it's interesting because I was thinking about that at the beginning of the game here because ideally, you know, Joe's got a lot of munitions. He's got some bombs on his K-Wing. He's got some bombs on his Ahsoka Look, tie. And if he keeps them close together, they might just be targets. Miranda gets a stress on her. She's done. I agree. This, this game is all about how quickly Biggs dies. Well, it will be, but it's interesting too because if Joe, sorry, if Christian splits up all his TIE shuttles, then the operations specialists don't work. What do you, for some they of the do. newer players? The operations specialists work. So I run uh, at least... Um, so I, what I do is I drop the tactician and the intelligence agent, which is probably a bad idea, for a uh, Mark II engine and a systems officer to pass out some of those target locks. But the operations specialists are fantastic closers because they just, sure, when the, when, when, the, when the swarm splits up, they just have massive range. So moving down to, to bombers two and three, they've got the operations specialists. And what that allows Christian to do is to make it rain focus tokens. Every time a bomber misses, he generates two focus tokens. It is amazing to watch, and you're picking up like six focus tokens at the end of the turn. So it doesn't really feel like you need them at the beginning of the game. But in the end game, when he's got three bombers, four bombers spread out all over the map, if any bomber shoots within range two of an op spec bomber, or an op spec bomber shoots, that op, that the bomber with the crew can pass a focus to someone at range three. Yeah. So, so he can cater in just, one, just miss to pause another on that, one. Just to pause on that for a second. Yeah. For some of the newer players who may not have had an experience with op specialist, operation specialist says, when attacking, if, if a ship within range, range one, one to two, two yeah. misses, assign a focus token to a ship within one to three of the ship with the crew. Of the attacker. No, of the crew. It's actually the attacker. It's not. Yeah. No, I've played this quite a bit. You no, I believe you. I honestly do. It's just that uh, when you when you get a chance to actually read the uh, the card, it's actually a little bit misleading, and it's one of the reasons that uh, op specialist is actually caught catches people off guard because what you're doing is you you think that. Uh, it's just the operation specialist itself that generates the focus oh, token, the attacker. Right. but it's it's actually anybody within one to three of the attacker. Oh, okay. So the attacker has to be within one to two of the op specialist, yeah. and then that person can generate a focus token. So it's really and you can uh, see here how Christian started to spread out his swarm a little bit. He barrel rolled the front tie, yeah, right number five, which he's number number seven, and that's the naked tie. And so that's going to be his first engagement. Uh, tank, so he's going to want to put as much damage onto that guy as possible. That's his sacrificial lamb, and then he's going to be using that as his blocker. Yeah, number five right. is the most expendable one out of the five Absolutely. bombers he has, right? Because it doesn't, right. Have a, doesn't have an intel, doesn't have Vader, doesn't have an off special. Now, one of the things that's great about this list is a whole bunch of those bombers, the first three in fact, are 21 points. Now, you and I played in Destroy Champs, yep. which you found very frustrating. Well, mainly because I had Imperial Aces, and yeah, I mean, I... I and they like stress. They, they love stress. Just yeah, the they just love it. Yeah. But I had two bombers, both 21 <laughs> points left at the end. You did, and I had one Ty D Vessery left. And I was 42 points. How many points were you? Uh, 37. So you keep two bombers alive? At 42 points, you're probably going to win against an ace other than Whisper. You just run with those guys, you get them out of there, you just flee. You just run, right? Yeah, it's definitely a list that provides you lots of flexibility in terms of your tactics. Like, your overall strategy is very flexible. Your tactics are very flexible. Ultimately, you're not really putting out a massive amount of damage at one time, but you're you're showering your opponent in stress. The stress helps with that, right? Which is which is also where the name comes from. Devin, can you give us an idea about why you and Christian decided to call it Rush Hour? So, Christian was really adamant about naming it something to do with transit because you just have all these crew crammed into these little spaces. And we're from Toronto. We got the subway. There's the subway. For those of you who don't know, it's just always crammed at rush hours, full of people. It's miserable. It's stressful. 
you know, Toronto just won the best uh, transit system in North America award, but it's, award. It's, it's just, you are smashed in there rush hour. It's just stressful, it is smelly, stressful. Yeah. sweaty, awful. Sometimes it just stops. Sometimes, like, on the way here, Christian had to walk four blocks because some guy decided to jump in front of the train uh. this afternoon. And uh, so the the, the, tra the train wasn't running, and that's rush hour in Toronto. Rush hour in Toronto can do that to you. It's stressful. It's packed in. It's like being on the train New York City in rush hour. It's just sure like is. you're packed in like sardines. Now look at this. Look at this nice big fan Christian's building, right? So what do you think Joe's gonna do? I'm just actually I'm gonna take a moment. Bomber four is the last thing I'm gonna say about rush hour for a while. It's got intelligence agent, which is an amazing card. So Christian can do... And only one point. Usually the one-point crews that are awesome are reserved only for the scum faction. Well, they didn't have that when it came out in Wave 2 or 3. So they, they were, there was no scum at that point. <laughs> so they had to give everybody the good cards. They couldn't reserve it for the, for Alex Davies' favorite faction, scum. Yeah. So here we got a nice big fan from Christian. He's got intelligence agents. So he's going to be able to find out where Biggs is going, where Miranda's going. And he's going to be able to start bumping those ships that he can't shoot with stress and be able to control where his opponent is going. So he's going to control where you're going with intelligence agents. He's going to know where you're going. He's going to bump you. He's going to barrel roll. He's going to block you. He's going to stress the heck out of you. And you're not going to get actions for the rest of the game. And he's going to just make it rain on his side. He's going to rain focus tokens. Now, just in case any of our viewers at home are worried that the uh, the aspect ratio on their television might be uh, malfunctioning because Christian's hands seem like 35 to 40 percent smaller than Joe's hands. Joe is a giant. Joe is not a small man. Yeah. Joe is uh, six foot four if, if he's an inch, and uh, probably 285 pounds of pure muscle. Six five? I don't know. And he's he's, uh, he, he's he, I believe he's a contractor, uh, and you know he's he's a giant. He's a gentle giant. Don't I would wrong. never decide not to pay Joe. Is what I'm no, but say. if you're if you're uh, standing across from him at a table at a store championship, he just has to look at you with this diabolical smile on his face. And uh, hey, oh, is that a bump? Did he just bump? No. I don't think it matters. You can't shoot it at. Uh, no, he's had his rebel ships in a nice little tight format. Oh, oh, oh that oh, looks oh. like a plum. See, I know how to fight tie fighters, there, Tim. See, you didn't the, trust me there. One what of, is that? One of the things that's not too worried that's about. I'll, I'll get into Joe's list after we get through this Please, first round no, of combat. I mean, like we need to get into it right now as combat is, is arriving. I mean, so we're not going to get any stress this round. So. Yeah, we're we're too far away for the tacticians to kick in. But Ahsoka Tano, the uh, the number one on your screen, uh, because none of. Christian ships or period PS9, Ahsoka cannot be shot because Ahsoka Tano is a PS7 uh, TIE fighter with veteran instincts. She's got PS9. Um, she's got a crew, Sabine Wren, which gives her a bomb slot. No, that's a fat Ahsoka, isn't it? I mean, like. That is the, the fattest Sabine, Ahsoka. Yeah. Sabine is on Ahsoka. Yeah. Now that's interesting. So we got one hit from uh, Miranda, that's evaded evaded. by the that's bomber. Evaded. And then we've got big shooting. He's got three dice and a focus. I mean, what is that? Uh, no, it's actually, Miranda's hit. opting to shoot her concussion missile. It looks like Joe's going to spend the Joe shield. Shot with, that was that was with Ahsoka. He shot with Ahsoka. Did he already turn down the captured tie title? Uh, I think he did. Because oh if someone goodness. dies, he's got scavenger pain. He can turn it back up. This is true, but he's, she's too far for scavenger pain to work. So Miranda has spent a shield, fired the concussion missile at five dice. Bomber oh. blanks out. We got one thing, so we got three hits and a crit going through on bomber number five here. See, this is what I love about rush hour. If that was a TIE fighter, if this was a five, a six TIE oh, crack it's, swarm. It's, it's bomber number four. Apologies. That would be a dead TIE fighter. So one, two, three. three. If it's munitions, munitions failure. Completely ironic and that uh, is so so Christian's running the old damage deck because the blinded pilot in the old damage in the old damage deck triggers operation specialist, whereas the new one doesn't because you skip the whole phase. True, and, and there's two cards in the old damage deck which are completely irrelevant since uh, Christian has decided to go with tie shuttles. So it's a good thing. Oh, that's Bigsy that's one out. hit from Ooh. Biggs. So Biggs, can he? We're gonna get three dice from a bomber. Yeah, two, uh, uh, Christian you forgot Christian, his range. What are you bonus. doing? It's fine. It doesn't matter. Doesn't baited matter. it anyway. So, um, getting back to Ahsoka. Ahsoka's Jackie should be watching. Jackie, our friend Jackie, is uh, judging this evening, and uh, should have noticed that. But uh, hopefully, we'll just keep moving on. 
Right, so just uh, Christian's going to take his shots at Biggs, because of course Biggs Dark Lighter is a 26 point T65 damage oh. sponge. Focus for two. So we got Biggs evading the first shot from the back bomber, which triggers Operation Specialist. And so now he's going to be able to pass five, which spent his focus on defense, a focus token for his one die attack pack. Yeah. It's going to be great, don't worry about it. I imagine we'll see five shooting next, maybe, we'll see. And then two who spent his focus on attack also gets it back, so if you did it dealing with any pilot skill one ships. So number three is gonna take a shot defense. at Biggs now. Yep. Yeah. Focus for two. Uh, yeah. So we got two coming through. Let's see if Biggs can evade again. Ooh. Who's gonna spend the focus? Yeah. Joe, Joe, yeah. Triggers operations specialist again. Yeah, another two focuses out there. Then we got number five taking the shot at Biggs at range three as well. Focus for one. Uh, Biggs is Biggs. going to He's going down. evade uh, that. Biggs with three dice is so frustrating. Biggs is very frustrating on the whole deck. He is like a seven point hull upgrade. He's like a seven hull oh, upgrade. Natty's hit crit. That's going through. So Biggs has lost two shields. Poof. Those, uh, those old, ancient uh, shields, system acrylic shields. No, those aren't yeah. system open. Those are, are nationals? No, those are store champs. From store God champs? Knows about, yeah. uh, well, Joe's been playing quite a few years. Right? Yeah. So interestingly enough, round one of combat, Joe has traded a concussion missile and two shields on Biggs for four health on the intelligence agent bomber. And I have to say, Dev, Joe has been playing long enough, and he's been around all of us at the PTL long enough, to know that about, IA's got to go down. IA has to go in. It's the only yeah. chance that he's got. Now, it was a very surprising um, uh, decision on Joe's part, from my perspective, that he decided to shoot with Ahsoka. And I'm just going to go through Joe's list really quickly and explain why. Please do. Ahsoka is a PS7 TIE fighter that has veteran instincts. So she's PS9. And she takes a one point uh, modification called the Captured TIE mod, which says that unless you are pilot skill 9 or higher, you can't shoot at Ahsoka Tana until one of two things happens. Either Ahsoka shoots, which she's done, or Ahsoka is the last piece on the board. So I think that uh, what we're seeing here is a version on Nathan Ioni's 100, 100 point corn. It's true. We have Biggs, Ahsoka, and Corn Horn. Yeah. So instead of Corn Horn, we've got an auto blaster bombing Miranda. Which is an interesting decision because Ahsoka is also equipped with Sabine, as we told her, which is a great way to protect Sabine uh, from your opponent if your opponent has no PS9 ships, uh, which means that Miranda can uh, equip herself with Ray and bank focus tokens. Exactly. Because Sabine's great. on Ahsoka. So as soon as Big Biggs dies, right? Because you were talking about. Yeah, that's the, oh, well, well, the, the last one of Ahsoka's upgrades is the Scavenger Crane. Well, when I was talking about. Arguably Scav one of the best cards in Wave 10. Right. So when Biggs dies, she's going to pull Capture Tie back up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because right now he's got a PS9 and a PS8 ship that can shoot at a damaged bomber and pull back Captured Tie before any of the other four bombers can shoot. And this is a nice thing about Rush Hour. Joe can do a one forward with all his bombers right here. That's something I wish I could do all the time with my time fighters. Yeah, I mean, even the 5Ks from the front three bombers, I don't believe would properly block everything. The one problem yeah, that Joe gonna, has yeah. now is that Ahsoka has to go faster. Ahsoka doesn't have a one forward. Right? So and you're, you're going to see number four become the blocker. So yeah. that's that's what you do. Yeah, you, you, you there you go, block. right there. Number four, coming in, right? <laughs> Everyone else is going to be doing a, a one forward, two forward, something small. He's blocking, right? And so that means that there's less guns on him. He's probably going to live a little bit longer. And then they're all going to be jammed up. The IA is going to proc. He's going to be able to figure something out. Yeah, one forward from everybody. I don't think it's going to be possible for uh, Biggs to escape this round without any stress there, does I mean, absolutely not. He will have stress. Whether or not he might live, but he will have a lot of stress. It's going to be 4.45 p.m. on a Friday afternoon at uh, Spadina Station for Biggs in about two minutes. Oh, God. That's the one where they got to have the people with the batons, yep. right? Keeping them, everyone in line? Yeah. Oh, boy. So the last one of the three pieces that, uh, that Joe is playing is the K-Wing, Miranda Doni. It says that when you're attacking, you can either do one of two things. You can spend a shield to increase your attack by one red die, or you can 
recover a shield and reduce your attack by one red. Damage. Which he's already done, right? It's our, our, I think our overlay is wrong. He already spent a shield, correct? So what's the four dice with the concussion missiles? At this point, what's missing from the overlay is a line going through captured tie, as well as a line going through uh, extra munitions of one of the two concussion missiles. So Miranda has spent one concussion missile and captured tie is turned down. But as I said earlier, I just spoke to our magician Victor who runs everything. And yeah. He's gonna he's gonna figure that out. So we should have that clear for our uh, our viewers. Biggs is bumping. Maybe to the game. Biggs is bumping at one forward. I mean that's which expected. it's not the worst place for him to be because I think he's only gonna get one stress token Look, here. His focus token last round prevented two damage. He's not gonna have that this round. True. But then again, if Biggs dies, uh, Ahsoka might get the capture tile belt. Now this surprises me. I thought for sure, I thought for sure that uh, Joe was going to zoom in there with a three bank and then three bank behind number two and number five and drop some bombs. But I guess not. I guess he's not ready to leave the big bubble of safety yet. Well, he, I mean, Miranda's not going to get shot. She can probably delete another, or delete or significantly damage. These aren't Tie Fighters. He can significantly damage a bomber with another missile, facing no risk of return fire. Right. Now, if Biggs goes down to two shots, or, or three shots, then yeah, she's going to get a stress, and that might be game. She's got, because then all of her nonsense is gone, except for the seismic torpedo. The seismic, seismic torpedo? A seismic torpedo is a two-point torpedo that says that has an action. No, he's got seismic bombs. Are they seismic charges or seismic, seismic torpedoes? Charges. Yeah, that's true. But sorry, folks, that's a bit of a little typo on the overlay there, no problem. Um, it's impossible for, I don't, Miranda That's, gonna, that's think, gonna be fixed in post, so yeah. uh, people will think we're crazy, that's fine. That's my fault, because I typed the lists in. Oh, did you? Yeah. Devin just uh, pulled I just it found through. seismic, and I was like, good, that's fine. So Miranda's taking a target lock on one of the operation specialist bombers, an interesting choice. So no, the seismic torpedo I'm is really, actually yes, a bomb. I was very curious to see if he was gonna do this. Very interesting. So, I mean, I think that clears. I mean, it helps when you move your, your ship, Joe. Joe has <laughs> opted to uh, try and clear the scrum with Ahsoka. I thought he was just going to do the two forward and maybe try and finish off That's number nice four here. Okay, so we're going to mark bomber number four. And we're going to try and mark uh, thing. the third hand you're seeing there, folks, is our uh, designated judge for the evening, uh, Jackie Long. Or as we call him here, the uh, the uh, the Fortress Jackula, mainly because he, he's uh, well known for taking three Trandoshan slavers to the System Open uh, series in Naboo, and actually being able to uh, to place very well in the day. So an interesting thing here, uh, Soka is going to just tilt a little bit and just going to stay behind number four. So Soka unfortunately will not be able to take uh, Focus Token thereby giving any one of Joe's ships at range one of Ahsoka a free action at the start of the combat phase. But the good part is, is now Ahsoka, after Joe puts his ray focus down now, Ahsoka's gonna get an opportunity to finish off number four with three unmodded dice, triggering Scavenging Crane and getting, oh, he's not gonna be able to do it. That's gut-wrenching. He's with the Ahsoka and Binks. Oh, that's... So Joe now has to decide if he wants to try and finish off number four with Miranda's turret, or whether or not he's going to shoot his concussion missile. He's shooting his concussion he's missile. He's going to shoot his concussion missile. Yeah, it's down. I guess he wants to put as much damage as he can into the bomber so he can finish him off with his high PS ships. I, he's not shooting Vader. I would shoot Vader. Yeah, I wouldn't shoot Vader. Oh my oh, oh, goodness. Oh god, the bomber is going to wear those oh crits. My oh my goodness. God. Interestingly enough, we talk about uh, you talk about Tie Fighters earlier, Dev. So, what are the so he's reasons? Taking, he's taking three crits. Three crits here. That's that's bomber. that's gonna be that bomber is gonna have a whole bunch of special rules for the rest of the as long as it's alive. Got a weapons malfunction, irrelevant. Another? Blinded pilot, very that's, relevant, and a direct hit. Okay, so it's got four damage. Blinded pilot is great for Christian. He just gets free focuses now. Yeah. It's fine. One of those snazzy PTL crit tokens. Yeah, he's got him. And Biggs is going to take his range three on probably the same target. Well, those crit tokens are for coming top 16 at the PTL Open. Oh, oh. Biggs, twice in a row. Twice in a row. Biggs and Ahsoka whiffed on Joe. That's oh. rough. Spends the focus, no damage. It's just another edification of why I hate dice trays, Dubba. 
It's the curse of the stream. The curse, curse of the stream. stream, Tim. I'm only the only one cursed on stream. I'm the only one who doesn't want on stream, even though I've won on stream. No, that's why we need you when you're on stream. You know, you never have the live mic. It's true. It's like being on a on a boat. There's sailors everywhere. Yeah, it's so true. It's where like five sailors. So Christian's damage output not going to be as high as he would. Now, it's going to be fine. Joe has spent the, tons of his concussion missiles. Biggs is going to be dead. He'll be all right. Biggs gets a stress from Tactician. Now, Tactician actually procs after the attack. Such an interesting choice. I, I'm very surprised that uh, Daddy's two hits. Christian has decided to shoot at... Oh, oh two damage on Biggs because he bombed. So you need that focus to prevent the, like live to eat all those damage, right? If he dies fast, which he might, he's got one hull. Like I said, if he dies to two or three shots, right, then, uh, then they can start putting stress on Miranda, and that's... That's not going to be a good thing. Well, all the bombers have to shoot Biggs. Yeah. And unfortunately, oh, too stress on Biggs. Biggs has uh, oh, hit crit. R4D6, which is completely. Uh, oh, that crit's probably going to go through. Probably going to see integrated astromech use here, Devin. Yeah, IA, way we go. Yeah, integrated so astromech. Joe's popping integrated astromech. R4D6 R4 D6 is actually, unfortunately, completely useless in this matchup for Biggs because he's Ow, never. got shot in the space. Yeah, it's true. It's a noise R2D2 makes. I'm pretty terrible. Yeah, there you go. Now, there are some pretty sweet alt arts out there of uh, integrated astromech that we gave out at the PTL open. It's true. Uh, Ours are much nicer than the FFG ones. I feel like an exploding R2D2, like literally blowing his top off, is a lot better than whatever zooming through space the FFG Well, that's the, sh that's the show. Oh, the bomber whiff. Uh, well, then he gets free focus tokens. See, that's what's great about... Uh, no. uh, what? What? did go through. Looks like Bigsy uh, is going down, which will trigger... He rolled uh, two blanks. What's going on? That will trigger Sabine's uh, scavenger Sabine's crane, and he does not roll a blank, so scavenger crane And there is, we go. We got uh, capture tie back. Boom, look at that. Victor's on the ball. And Biggs is dead. It's Victor being the, uh, the host from VWTV Live, who are helping us out with our stream again tonight. Uh, Victor and Travis just continuing to be wonderful supporters Amazing of the Amazing work. So now we're going to start to get stress on Miranda. So no, Miranda's got a stress. Yeah. She can't She can't use a focus. She can't power up Ray. She can't slam. She can't do her clusters. Like, Mar this is going to be... Miranda is about to be uh, Union Station Whoa. at 9.30 in the morning on a Monday, Devin. Oh, oh everyone who's late to work. 9.30, you're late to work. Yeah. That's a great time to be. Miranda's running around just trying to... Uh, With the construction? Oh, God. That's great. Interestingly enough, one of the reasons that Ahsoka has been uh, such a great piece in, in the meta recently is because you, you, when you put Sabine on here, you're, you're not just uh, giving Miranda the opportunity to use Sabine, but Ahsoka herself can actually drop that thermal detonator. And when you've got your ships clustered together like Christian does... His bombs aren't fair. It doesn't count as an attack. Exactly. So, you know, Ahsoka could very easily just five forward here and then the following oh, turn the, drop The following the turn. That's yeah. the problem. Is he can't hurt him with bombs. He can't hurt him with a seismic torpedo this round. A seismic charge, sorry. Can't hurt him with a seismic charge this round. Can't hurt him with a thermal detonator this round. It's very possible for Joe, or sorry, for Christian to use number two and number five to block every avenue of escape from Miranda here. Number two is 100% going to be the blocker this round because he's the damage one, right? So number two is going to come in to block, and number five, number, sorry, four and five, same ship, right? R4, Christian's five, is going to also try and, and do like a hard to block Miranda, and I imagine number three, number two is going to try and come in and uh, block Ahsoka. So we'll have to see how that's going to go for, for Christian. But uh, Well, Joe has to be extremely is, careful here, Dev, yeah. because if he's not careful and he uses that captured tie title again, and Christian has the opportunity to fire at Ahsoka with bomber number one that has Vader on it, it's very possible for that Ahsoka to get one-rounded by the Dark Lord of the Sith. Lord. I mean, I imagine that you will see a slam this turn from Miranda. She's going to do a green, she's going to slam again, she's going to try to get the heck out of Dodge. I don't see any of Miranda's greens getting her out of there, bud, honestly. I mean, like, she's only got her two forward, her one banks, and her one forward. So Bomber 5 and 2 can almost block every one of those avenues of the state, and then Christian can use 1, 3, and 4 to just pour on the hurt. Now, interestingly, that the Bombers get into range 1, they get three red dice, but they get no stress with Tactician. 
No, but they all get focus tokens. It's true. It's very true. We have Tardalox. We get Tardalox with one. This is the situation where I like uh, systems officer. You do a one full systems officer. You're passing out three Tardalox. You're getting focus Tardalox. I'm really liking a three hard turn left from Ahsoka at this point because I feel that the following turn, uh, that seismic uh, charge, that's oh, sorry, the thermal detonator, I should say, that Sabine's got, would be extremely useful. Not now, but maybe next turn. Well, that's what I mean. If you do the hard three, yeah. If he, if he does the hard three, nobody can shoot her because she's got captured tie back up, and then maybe uh, Ahsoka could just drop that uh, that, that bomb right on the uh, Christians. <laughs> Uh, see, if, if Christian gets himself Christian into a... Christian doesn't care about stress because he's an uh, uh, operations specialist. No, but... It's a sign of focus tokens. So he, exactly. he shoots with number five, number four, who is shooting with one red die, misses, generates two focus tokens for his buddies, shoots with them, and he's off to the races. I don't disagree with you, Deb. I guess what I'm trying to point out is the fact that number two and number four both only have one hull left, which means that if Ahsoka drops... Number two a, number four have two hull left. What I'm trying to say, though, is that if, if Ahsoka drops a bomb, right. she can blow one of those two up and immediately, with Sabine doing that bonus damage, immediately get her bomb back with scavenger. Yep. So, and then do another damage to another one. So if, if Christian doesn't play this properly, Joe can force Christian into a position where Christian has to split his bombers up to avoid bombs. So <laughs> Ironically Christ enough to hear bombers avoiding bombs. Christian but only needs three bombers alive to win. Against Moraine. True, that's very true. And you know, like Miranda can recharge, but given the she, fact that she doesn't have a TLT, she no longer in this has case, missiles. She can't. If he keeps stressing her, she's not going to get slammed. She's not going to get her clusters. Like both our players taking a very good amount of time just to consider all their options here. This is this is the turning point. I, mean, I think that, this is definitely the crucial game, the yeah. point of the game. I agree with you. And funny enough, we're only what about a half hour into this game here. And, I mean, uh, this is the first engagement. I mean, this is we're going into round two of the engagement, right? So, I mean, the, the first one doesn't really count. All right, round three of the engagement. It's super crucial here how Miranda can disengage, slam out, get away, and try to come back and kill at least three of these bombers. Can I call a move from uh, Miranda as a guest? Yes, I mean, yeah. I'm calling a three forward, white. I think Miranda's going to keep her stress. Is it the fastest she can go? It's the fastest straight she can go, because remember, Christian's 5K. That put her at range two of that bomber. Miranda's an incredibly fast ship, but she's only fast when she has actions. When she's stressed and she can't slam, yeah. the K-Wing is actually pretty limited to its maneuvers. All right. We'll see. She can three bank away. That's interesting. Might get her out of arts. That bomber's blocking the one hard and the two hard from... Uh, from Ahsoka. Yeah. We got bomber number five going 5K oh, he's, as well. He's 5K as many people as so possible. We're gonna, yep, we're gonna mark. So oh, don't mark the side, Joe, mark the front. Well, we'll do what we can. Maybe it goes wrong, we'll just play Jackie, it's fine. He's got it. Well, one of the reasons that this list is so genius is that it, it offers Imperials the opportunity to control because you're not stressed. It's not R3A2 like in the Rebels. You're not, it's just if I'm at range two, I stress you, so you can't turn around, but I can still turn around. And like I said, Christian does not care about stress because he misses with a stressed pilot. That's fine, he's just going to generate two focus tokens for some buddies and away he goes. Yeah, it's he's a got little, enough ships that it's fine. It's less ideal because the bombers have to take their shots first before uh, the first one shoots to start the operation specialist uh, domino thing going. But I completely agree with you. Well, he's still got, like, ideally Joe needed to get one or two of these bombers off the board right now. But see what I was saying, right? So earlier. he's going to switch places, right? So bomber four and bomber two are probably going to switch places. Sabine Wren can drop her seismic charge and blow up number five uh, right like now, and then number five's dead, and Sabine gets five, the bomb. Five back. is full hull. Bomber number five? Yeah, has full hull. You don't care. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's number uh, so number four that's damaged. I apologize. Number four just yeah. ran away. He's good. Right. Number four went out to block the two yeah, forwards. You're absolutely right. No, I apologize. So yeah. one is just doing. Sorry, number two is just doing the one forward. He's just gonna bump right in there. Yep. Because he's there to stress Ahsoka. If he can shoot Ahsoka, which he can't. Now Miranda so can do the one bank right. Joe's deciding about whether or not he wants to drop one of his. Uh, now, one he of his did leave the, the one bank 
clear. So you're surprised about that. I am too. I really wonder why. And he didn't use. Oh, he didn't use intelligence agents. Okay, so Joe is opting to drop one of his seismic why, charges. Why didn't he use intelligence agents? Yeah. He forgot. Did Christian forget to? No, because the intelligence agent. The intelligence agent went 4K. It was down here. Right, 5K. So it was in the middle of his guys. I, I think he was at range three before he 5K. No. So, so um, it's on number four, right? So number four is out here now, right? So he could have intelligence agent to one of the Miranda or something. And he didn't. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, Dev. He's just that confident. He's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. O M G is lock. is that gonna fit? No. Oh, everybody clinch. No way. There's no way that. Fits. Everybody clinch. It blocks the special bomber with the with the racist strikes. Oh, that is a bump. Boom, boom, boom. So he's gonna get a range one from number two. Oh. Number and two. And he's gonna get stressed again if, from if, three and five. If he doesn't PS kill it. That's true. If he doesn't PS kill. It. So we've got number. Ahsoka is also dropping a bomb. Looks like. Three bank. That's near that debris, but I don't think it'll hit it, will it? He's got a barrel roll to get around it. Maybe. Oh, come on, Joe. It's like his, uh, it's like his templates say, Dev, never tell him the odds, right? <laughs> so he's, he, he's holding his bomb with Ahsoka probably for the next turn that's coming. God, Ahsoka is just in an absolutely magnificent spot to drop another seismic charge next turn. Sorry, a thermal detonator, I should say. I mean, he dropped the thermal bet now. So two is probably going to die, which is going to so activate five, scavenger five, five's taking three damage at a stress. Right? What on earth is going on now? Oh, this they is just moved all the ships. This is where uh, Miranda dropped her seismic, seismic charge. Oh, yes. So Because seismic torpedoes are seismic charges, guys. My apologies. I entered the ships wrong previously. Bomb tokens are difficult to navigate when you got the game going, but they're very important to place correctly. Because... Ooh, that looks out to me. Ooh. Thanks for putting your hand in the way, Christian. So just smack five, it looks like. With the seismic. So we've got number five taking uh, number probably five. three damage no. from Sabine, right? No, it just took one. Seismic plus one. Seismic, thermal, and Sabine, right? Uh, no, he's me up. Maybe. I only see two damage on... Well, both those bombs are going to explode now at the end of yeah, the activation so seven, phase. Seven and seven slash five is taken two. Um, so bomber five has taken two damage at least. I don't know where the Sabine damage is going. It's, let me, let me it's, just, it's Joe's option to Sabine either number three or number five. Like I only see on the side you're going to two damage on seven. So. so Joe has the option of Sabining three or five because of the bomb token that was in the middle between them. Sabine can choose either one of those tokens. Correct. Victor's, both Victor's, Victor's just stress. running. Yeah, exactly. Because the the thermal detonator hit both of them, so they're not exactly worried. As you said earlier, the uh, the operation specialists will worry about their actions. But very interesting here because again, they can't go very far if they're stressed, and, and Ahsoka can bomb them again next turn. So Miranda is shooting. shooting at probably the damaged bomber here. So Miranda has destroyed bomber number two, which, I mean that which is within range two of Ahsoka. Yeah. So um, Ahsoka's going to get her thermal detonators back. If Joe remembers, yes. If Joe remembers. Absolutely. I feel like that's important. But that needed to happen because it's the only shot on... Miranda this round, other than the one in three and five. Yes, exactly. Now, three is an op specialist, two is an op specialist, so Joe's rolling for the scavenger crane, does not get a blank, retains scavenger crane, and gets his bomb back. Ahsoka is just laughing maniacally at these bombers right now. So we've got number five doing hit crit on Miranda, and this is number five shooting okay, at yes. Miranda. One damage goes through. I'm confused by bomber five slash four. Yeah, bomber three doing the same thing for a second stress token. This is a big deal, Devin. Miranda's now double stressed, and her ability to get out of there has just been reduced 
significantly. Miranda will be able to possibly dodge one. Oh, that is a dodgy K-Win. That's unfortunate. I hate dodgy K-Wings. Well, M Miranda has now lost her ability to use her action bombs. She can no longer use cluster mines. She can no longer slam. She can no longer bank focus tokens with Ray. Ray has no bank focus tokens. They engage so quick. Correct. Now, unfortunately, uh, number four, bomber number four, I should say. Now, Miranda had an action this round because Ahsoka gave her focus token to Miranda. Correct. Which was the focus token that Joe needed to blow up the bomber. So absolutely. Joe is just walking a, a, a tightrope here. Oh, absolutely. It's a hell of a game we got on our hands, Devin. I mean, he's got one down, two more to go. Right? He's got he's got into number three, and he's, he put two into five, I guess. I don't know where that Sabine damage went, because he did two damage to seven, and then number, number three should have some more damage on him, shouldn't he? Yeah, I mean, like... I don't, I don't know. One of the things that I really wanted to bring to light at this point, uh, Dev, is that I feel like Joe might be out of tricks. Miranda has no shields. Ahsoka has a bomb that she can drop on pretty much all of them at this point. But the problem is, is that Ahsoka's one turn, I doubt, is going to clear... That's all she can do. ...that, that debris from. Well, the one turn left downboard for Ahsoka is going to clear. For sure. I fly a lot of TIE Fighters then. It's going to clear. And even with Sabine... But then she's going to be so close to that bomb. Like, even with Sabine, I don't see how Joe is going to be able to kill a bomber. Right? Number three can just go left and avoid the two bombs that Ahsoka and Miranda can drop. And, and it's going to have a shot on, on Ahsoka at that point. Well, it won't be able to shoot because Ahsoka still has captured tie up. And Miranda's only guy so much hull. Correct, yeah. I mean, if, if Christian doesn't find a way to keep his guns on Miranda and let Mir and he lets Miranda clear that stress and Well, number start four is going to 5K. Number one might 5K. Or it's going to turn down after Ahsoka. Three and five are going to green forward after Miranda. Keep stressing her. They're gonna. They're probably just gonna one forward. I like a. There's I like a five k from number four. I like a three turn left from number one. So yeah, down board, down towards the bottom, down here, down. Uh, yeah, and start the pursuit of uh, of the two of them because I mean, you just keep guns on Ashoka. As soon as uh, Miranda's dead, you can stress her. Yeah. As soon as if Miranda goes down unfavorably for Joe, I fail to see how that poor little Tie Fighter with those two uh, with those two ladies on board are going to be able to. Uh, just see to how fast it. Christian is throwing down those dials, man. He's flown this list all Thor Champ season. He hasn't won a Thor Champ, but he's wrecked so many people's days. So many people's so, days. Did I wreck your day at the Harry T Thor Champs? I, I guess mean, you were you were pretty salty play at placing rush hour. I guess what I was salty about is the fact that I, I, I did everything right. Like, I, I blocked myself, and then my Vessery, Backdraft, Omega Leader combo was still working, and I literally just could not burn down bombers fast enough. It's just those five hull with the two of aids is just brutal. Well, it's funny that we can actually take this opportunity to note about the list, too, Devin. This is the only list I've ever seen in the game of X-Wing where you actually almost use all the damage cards in the 33-card deck of damage cards that you have. So I played the infamous Eric Zhang. And this Kanan makes. He's that he's that guy that, that flew his Kanan off the board at System Open, right? I don't recall, but I do recall him going one and one versus Paul Heaver. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Eric. Eric, we love you. We uh, we, we love you, buddy. But seriously, I want your dice. Yeah. You, you See, have to give look, me your dice. K turn over the rock because you're not getting that. an action anyway. I love the K turn over that's the rock. A, that's a Nova Squad maneuver there. Christian is just creating a kill box around that poor K-Wing. The goal is to get Miranda into a range two of a couple of ships and keep, keep her stressed. You know, you want quad, quadruple, you want penta, you want as much stress on her as possible. Yeah, I mean, if, 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 uh, if three does a straight bump, yeah, just doing a straight bump. If number five does a two bank bump, then... Uh, One forwards from these guys. Christian's, you know. uh, Christian's going to be able about, to keep... Think about the range two band from number four. Think about the range two band from number one, and the range two band from three and five. There's very few places Miranda can go, especially because she can't slam. That is not going to be in a range two of something to keep keep her double stressed or triple stressed. And if he can get to four or five, oh, that's the dream. Stress is definitely a good counter for for Joe's list. Um, 
It's interesting to note as well that, you know, one of the purposes of having Ahsoka in Joe's list is to increase the action economy of, of, of everybody involved, and particularly right. Miranda, who can take now target locks and focuses. And, but if you are newer to the game, you can actually read the, uh, the card that the slam comes with. It specifically says that you, unfortunately, you cannot spend a focus token with Ahsoka to slam Miranda because the slam action cannot be a free action. There you go. So the, the 5k from number 4 got it out of the fight. Right? He's going to range 3 shot on, on Miranda. Right? But he's not going to be able to kill 3 and 5 fast enough. Even with these two bombs and, a, and Sabine doing doing work, I mean, theoretically now, uh, Devin, what, what uh, Joe can do is he can put another three damage on number five and then PS kill number five with Miranda uh, and get the bomb back again with Scavenger Crane, which would now put Ahsoka at three bombs by my count oh. on a 27-point on a TIE Fighter. Now, he's risking damage on Ashoka here, just uh, just the damage bombers. Now that's well, oh, that is close to range one. He, can, uh, he can't kill three. I don't know if he can kill five. Like, I, I don't know, man. It's going to be rough. Did the one turn clip the uh, the cloud? It did not. No, I, I told you it wouldn't. I know it's like TIE Fighters. Look, but he's going to put more damage out there. But uh, 5 and 3 are both range 2 of uh, Miranda. He's going to put two more stress on there. She's going to have be triple stressed going into next round. 4 is going to come in. 1's going to go back over that rock. He's going to come back in. 1's got 5 hollow. I right? don't think he's going to be triple stressed because he could actually PS kill either 3 or 5 uh, before they get to double, go. Double stress is enough. Double stress is enough, particularly with number 4 barreling in the following turn oh, to try and finish off Miranda. Barrel roll with Miranda so he can't pass an action to Ahsoka. That was a really good move by Ahsoka. I really like I don't, it because I, if Ahsoka... I disagree. I disagree because he needs to pass the action to Miranda to live or to do damage. Like, I, I don't think so. Because like, he needs to shoot and kill one of these ships. But if he gets his bomb back now, he can bomb the pursuing bomber the following turn and kill it before he gets to shoot and get the bomb back again. It's such an interesting chess match that we've got on our hands here. The one thing that we're missing, unfortunately, Dev, is a stress token on bomber number one after 5 k through that rock. Did they, I, ro did they I, roll for it? Yeah, I think that's why it's got damage, but I blame Jackie. Our judge? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, epic fail. <laughs> so One of them will remember at some point. Yeah. So let's fly casual, folks. Look, we're top eight. They'll get it on there. Christian's going to do a green maneuver. We'll be fine. We will be fine. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, He's got to go over a rock anyway. He can't do actions. Yeah. Nonsense. So the seismic charge has detonated. It impacted one and five. The thermal detonator is now uh, exploding as Joe and Christian futz with their ships and blow them all up. Yeah. The thermal detonator will deal multiple stress tokens to all bombers involved, theoretically. I think uh, Joe and Christian are just having a couple of conversations right now about what's going on. We got on. Victor off there to, oh, is that going to be range one? No, oh, I, I don't know. So they're probably just discussing about the, the bump of the shuttle right now. Do we count it as range one? Do we knock out it as range one? So many moving parts in a list like this. Uh, it's easy for the players to get distracted when uh, you get it. And it brings it back to the mantra of the PTL about flying casual and making sure that, you know, everybody remembers that even when there's a high stakes game like this, it's important to have fun because if you're having fun, you're going to think better, you're going to have better decision making, and uh, you're going to have an opportunity to to really develop some uh, some long term partnerships that you're going to want to play with. There we go. We got a stress on number one now. That's fine. We, uh, we corrected the game state. There we go. Did we find out which uh, ship uh, Joe decided to use Sabine on? Was it number five? Uh, which uh, which ship did uh, Joe Sabine? On? Uh, he's been number three. Okay, makes sense. Does it? 
Miranda firing a primary weapon, focusing for two. I'm guessing that he's shooting at number five. Number five, five does not evade, bad. and number five goes down. will explode. Within range two of Sabine, sorry, uh, yep, yeah, uh, Sabine on Ahsoka. So Ahsoka once again gets her uh, scavenger crane thermal detonator back and does not roll a blank, maintains scavenger crane. That is four thermal detonators on a TIE fighter death. No, three, it's three right now. Oh, it's, oh, it automatically comes back again. Scum needed that upgrade. They really did. Yeah, they definitely right. needed that. So we've got That's a range cool. three from number four, just rolling one crit. Uh, Miranda does not evade. She's getting a crit here, Dev. That, I hear that's good. Crit on a K-Wings. Joe, is, show us. Come on, Joe. That is going to be a... Ooh. What is he doing? Structural damage, reducing Miranda's agility we by told one. told to put it on the mat, didn't we? Well, you know, Joe, he's... He's, 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 he's Portuguese. He's Joe. He's big, strong like bull. Smart yes. like streetcar. <laughs> All right, this range three threw a rock, which is great. <laughs> great. That is a big, fat nothing. So now this is where so Christian is the operation specialist Christian is opting. Apart. Christian is opting to Vader, Vader. here, which I, is going to I can't do see that either. Shaken pilot. Thank you, Vader. Shaken pilot, which means that uh, number one cannot go straight. No, number one was shooting at, at, at Miranda. Correct. Miranda's so, got shaken pilot. Oh, my goodness. And now number one and is Vader. Because he missed, he's still passing the focus. Oh, my goodness. Is it range one to two, though, is the question? Oh, it is. Operation special. So three is going to get... And the operation special is assigned it to itself. Oh. And it goes. It's really interesting here because number three... Oh, oh, I didn't even need the focus. So number three puts another two damage in on a one health Miranda. And interestingly enough here, Dev... Miranda had bombs. That's Mar going to be problematic. Well, that's it because number three can can die basically to a Sabine and a PS kill. One's going to go over that rock. Four's got two health left. This is a nail biter. This might actually come down to uh, Ahsoka versus two bombers in our late yeah, game. Yeah, Ahsoka still got thermal deaths and captured die. Like Miranda has to die before uh, Ahsoka can actually do. Her, her work. I mean, Joe made that decision with Miranda and when Miranda's going very quickly. So he must know where his bomb is going with Ahsoka. He's already made that decision. I'm calling it one bank left here, Doug. One bank left slam? He can't slam. He's got two focus. He's got, He's got two, two stress two stresses. This is there such a nail biter. I, I don't know, man. Like this is. We've got 23 minutes left, so much will depend on what happens in the next two turns to decide who will be um, chasing whom in the late game. And Joe needs to prioritize himself now in terms of which bomber he wants to blow up. Right, number one is about to cross that rock again. If number one rolls a crit direct hit, he's done. At this point, um, you know, if, if Christian can close the net with number four and number three and blow up Miranda, then number one can shoot at Ahsoka and just Vader her, uh, suicide Vader, of course. I imagine number one is going to be doing a three forward green. He's not going to get actions, but he'll be across the rock. Number one's going to be doing a green, probably a, a one or a, or a bank forwards. Number number four is going to be doing a, a one green bank in. He's going to set up a kill box for Miranda. And I don't know, man. Like, Stressing her again. Too far for Intel agent. Well, now he remembers. God damn it, Christian. I have a feeling that, that Christian did remember and just asked Joe, and they didn't do it on screen. Maybe. Oh, he didn't. He didn't one bank. One bank. He did a one full barrel roll because he prefers that arc. He's also trying to cover Miranda's one bank right uh, avenue of escape. Or here. if he goes downboard to the Miranda's that last. That's not the move I was expecting from number one. That was the move I was expecting from number one. Because I guess he's going to barrel roll right to avoid uh, Ahsoka's bomb here. Yeah, that makes sense. But it doesn't yeah, look like he did the green maneuver, Joe. That's how it works. Uh, interesting. Did Christian pick up an extra stress token because of the thermal deaths? Should he have been double stressed? Should have been double stressed. I'm afraid we have to inform the judge, Devin. This is a top eight match. While Devin goes and talks to Jackie, and we may have to undo that uh, barrel roll there, folks. It's this point when it's important to remember that. 
whenever a match is on stream, mistakes can happen just like any game of X-Wing, but the people who are watching a game, even if you're not casting it, if you're just sitting and watching a game, there is an etiquette that you maintain, which is important to remember. Unless something is uh, altering the game state as a must, so in this case, like assigning stress tokens and not being able to do actions and things like that, um, it's important to remember that you should not really talk to people about it because, you know, it, a lot of the things categorized under a missed opportunity. And ironically, in this case, I think it's actually more favorable for Christian to be where he is because now all of his bombers are going to be able to have art on Miranda trying to get out of there. Um, I mean, ideally, uh, Christian didn't want to have his bomber. We didn't bomber. expect that. No, we definitely didn't. Definitely did not expect that. So, I mean, Christian didn't want to have his bomber there to, to get bombed by Ahsoka, but I was just explaining to everybody at home about how when you're watching a game of X-Wing, you don't really point things out unless it's an alter the game state kind of thing, right? It's a must, yeah. right? It's how it should be. And we all want to play the best game of X-Wing possible, right? Joe being very casual and just letting Christian do uh, the maneuver for him. As they knock everything around. As we as we fix the game state and they knock everything around. I'm pretty sure oh, Christian's conceding that the uh, the bomber's within range one of the bomb here. So. Whoop, whoops. Oh, dear. I think Victor's just trying to get us a better angle here. So, I mean, Joe Brent is not in a good place. Joe is trying to decide whether or not he should try and uh, relocate Ahsoka or whether he, sh he should keep her there. I mean... Um, I mean, number one can just... Rand is dead this turn or next turn, and Ahsoka doesn't have a shot. Honestly, Deb, I think after this round of combat, it's going to be bomber number four against Ahsoka. I think the bomb's going to kill three. One is going to kill The Miranda. bomb can't do three damage. The bomb can do two damage. Wait, how did that just die? I think we might have had the damage count wrong. Oh, and he gets the bomb back again. The bomb comes back, but the scavenger crane goes, right? He, rolled a, uh, he, he rolls the bomb. The scavenger crane doesn't break unless you roll a blank on the red die. Because <laughs> scum is totally fair scum, and balanced. Scum is 100% fair and balanced. <laughs> Damn it. Like, it's just fine. <laughs> oh, Billy. So we've got one. I mean, Miranda can PS kill Bomber 1. But yeah. Bomber 1 can just Vader Miranda and kill her. And then we've got a two-hull bomber against uh, an Ahsoka tie. What a nail-biter. Miranda recovering his shield, rolling one die. One hit. Oh, the Vader shuttle goes down. Uh, all it had to do was shoot, and Miranda's dead. And I'm not convinced that Bomber 4 has arc. He can't solo a list. Oh. Just goes to prove about the resilience of, uh, of the K-Wing, Dev. I had this exact thing happen to me last night, uh, a One Health uh, K-Wing. The overlay just needs to update in a second here, folks. Moran doesn't have two yeah, she's uh, got, hull. He's got, she's got one hull and one shield, but uh, that's okay. So Christian trying to, uh, Christian's trying to gauge what sort of options he has at this point. Bomber 4 can't go after Ahsoka because Ahsoka's... I feel like he couldn't have done They couldn't have, like, The barrel roll saves that ship. Stresses Miranda, but he couldn't have done it. Like, that's, uh, Knife's edge there. I'm thinking a uh, hard three to the to the left there. Our and left is right. Our left is right with the barrel roll. Keep Miranda in arc. Get a range one shot. Hope Miranda can't do two damage on three dice. I don't like, know, man. The, the barrel roll is a tough call because if you barrel roll... You've got no focus tokens to survive Miranda's uh, Natties, shot. Natty's baby, you just gotta just gotta roll well. But that's the problem is that if Miranda recharges hey, when, when he shoots, intelligence agent. Now he's he's checking out where she's. If Miranda recharges before this bomber shoots, then this bomber has no chance of killing him. So it. I think you're right. Joe's told him what he's doing rather than revealing the dial. Uh, he's gonna barrel roll for the shot. This hail Mary. I still Holy Hera, full of grace, mother of Zeb. Oh, bringer of death. Praise be. Praise be. Yeah, I see. I, I didn't see the three bank coming from Miranda here. I think that the, fo the, the, one bank the focus token would have been a better call on the bomber here, I reckon, Deb. 
maybe they were out for range two, maybe you didn't know. I guess the barrel roll does get uh, the bomber out it's of range, range of range Ahsoka. Three, it's got a range three shot of Ahsoka here. I, I think he's in. And, you know, a so range just two, gonna focus. Two, dice, two dice with a focus. I mean, that's one point something damage. Now, Ahsoka could spend the focus token on an action for herself right now and barrel roll, but I think she's just going to check to see if she's actually in range. I think she's just going to shoot it. Yeah, I think it's probably a better call just to try and PS kill this bomber. Oftentimes shooting things better than not shooting things. One hit. I mean, Christian's got to roll that. He's here. You can get another dice, Christian. Roll it outside the tray by accident. Oh, all right. That focus token would have helped. It would have. I feel like uh, the barrel roll is better for the shot, but... Would he have had a shot? I don't know. I think he definitely would have had a shot. Miranda was going to have a shot anyway. She's a turret. These K-Wings are dumb. K-Wings are great ships, especially with the emergence of all the bomber ships that are coming out now. They're ugly. Uh, the they have skirts, too many upgrades. And the K-Wing doesn't have too many upgrades. K-Wing's got 100%. Oh. Miranda blanks out with no focus token. I, uh, I mean, it's bad for Joe. I am super happy that that just happened. Nothing from Christian. That's Range a, two, it's another stress on Miranda, though. Yeah, but unfortunately now... So Joe is trying to say that... Uh, Joe is unfortunately bringing to light the fact that you need to nominate before you take your shot about Tactician. So you can't take your shot and then afterwards say, oh, I forgot Tactician. Now, obviously, these two guys have known each other for a long time. They're going to play casual. But it's important to remember, if you're using Tactician, you have to nominate during the declared, uh, declared target step. Uh, that's why Miranda rolled three dice. Too. Oh, I thought it was range one. No, he was trying to PS. He, was, he had no mods, so he was trying to PS kill the bomber before it shot at him. Um, now this is rough. So hopefully he's going to focus here. He know, if he knows where, Mar if he's used intelligence agent, knows where Miranda's going. Hopefully he'll focus on a barrel roll. Yeah, he's a barrel roll token. I think if Joe's a smart guy, he saw that move coming from Christian and plugged the one bank in. Um, if you wouldn't mind just reminding Victor that captured tie is turned down again. Ahsoka shot last time, but. We're just going over there to try and get. Uh, Joe remembering Shaken Pilot turned over from a couple of turns ago. <laughs> Good God. Those crits, man. Well, one of the things that it's important to remind our, our, our watchers about is to think about the, the Doseki guy, the Doseki beer commercials. Is I don't always play X Wing, but when I do. I use great tokens. Now, so, but none of these guys did, did well, badly enough. Joe, Joe still boot. has uh, Joe still has structural damage on Moran with the reduced agility. So it's uh, like at this point, uh, there's a couple of things that were involved in the game state, which are. Uh, well, that's a great place to be. I think it's a bomb. Well, that's what I was saying earlier. Is, is that if Joe read uh, Christian right, he's going to try for the bump because now. Uh, oh my God! Just taking that guy off there. Doesn't fit, which means now, unfortunately, Miranda is going to get the opportunity to either just bomb this uh, bomber or uh, slam right out of there. No, she's still stressed, but yeah. she's going to get a range two. Ahsoka is going to get a range two shot on yeah. bomber. Yeah. It's not not good for Joe. Anyway, we'd like to uh, take the opportunity for to uh, for Christian. Yeah. take this opportunity before the game wraps up uh, in a couple of turns here, Deb. We've got 12 minutes left on the clock. Uh, so we just sad. wanted to thank everybody for their continued support. Feel free to like, uh, subscribe, and comment on VWTV Live's uh, YouTube channel. They do so much for us locally. It's yeah. amazing. They film all the FFG stuff. And don't go too far away, folks, because this is the last of the four top eight matches. Uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have the... We're going to do both semis and the finals. So we got three more videos coming to you before yep. the end of BTL Season 8. And uh, Timbo Slice and Devin, as long as you are. Now, you're not, are you in the semis, Tim? Now, you were in the quarters. Did you make it in the semis? Salt in the wound there, bud. Thanks. Yeah, just, I'm just going to rub it in a little bit. Imagine, uh, imagine a Carnor Jax yep. against a, a One Health K-Wig. 5K'ing away from the K-Wing behind it, shooting backwards like a John Woo movie. 
um, and not being able to finish it off on the last turn. Now, now I'm in the. You I'm, did. I'm in the semi. You did. You you had your quarterfinal match against uh, John Hahn, and uh, I was there to. It was a great game. Judge that. It was a very good game. It was the uh, the. Uh, Rack, uh, Lieutenant in, Lawyer. In your face from out of space. That's a good list. I like it. We'll talk a little bit Rack more in our, uh, in, our, in our later streams, but as uh, as long as um, somebody is going to be here to help me cast the uh, the semifinal match that you're going to be playing in the next couple weeks, uh, that's going to be great. Uh, so we've got a... Look, looks I'm, like the, I'm the boss now, so I can't win everything, right? That's bad. That looks bad. What, you mean like an organizer winning all the prizes that he puts up? I feel like actually that would be bad. I don't know. It's, just, it's not uncommon. Now, uh, Christian using uh, the PTO condition tokens as a crit token there. Fair enough. Soka looking like uh, she's about to come in for the kill. Moran doing oh. the one forward. I think we're going to get a PS kill from uh, Miranda. Just uh, it looks like a dead lock. bomber. Target lock there from Joe. Uh, looks like Miranda can use her auto blast to turret. Why and, not just uh, a primary? It's just, just three dice. Three dice from Ahsoka, three dice from uh, Miranda. Well, we definitely like to give our thanks to our two players tonight, Deb. They've given us an absolute corker of a match to watch. Both of them are incredible players. Yeah, and if you do come across Rush Hour at a store championship in Southern Ontario... This is Ontario, the first time Rush Hour is lost on stream. I'd like, to, I'd like to point that out. It's true. You don't see Rush Hour losing too often at all, actually. Alan. <laughs> That's uh, the hair uh, that we're talking about. Oh, what is that? So we've got one, uh, one blank from Ahsoka... Got Miranda. I think that's Auto Blaster Focus. That's, yep. a, dead, that's, that's uh, a dead bomber. That's game. It's a good game, guys. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, Blank. Congratulations on making the top eight. And we're signing off on Timbo Slice. I'm Gavin. And we are PTL.